Okay, this is gonna be for the JoJo cup with the bow. I went ahead with my electrical tape and I just taped off two pieces and two pieces is gonna be one color. I left a gap for my first color. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take Mod Podge and do the first color here. Make sure I get it in really good. And pretty smooth because you don't want any, um, you don't want your glitter to like gob up in like certain places. So I'm going to take my first glitter mixture and just sprinkle it on. I'll dump off the extra and I have another sheet of paper here and I will just move it over and pour it straight on. And there's the first one. So I'm gonna pause you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple more colors and then I'll come back on and show you kind of what it looks like. Okay guys, so for this part, what I'm gonna be doing is showing you how to attach the ring to the JoJo for the JoJo bow. So all I do is I have this one minute epoxy you can find it at um, like car shops, like AutoZone, different things, different places have it. It comes out, there's a blue, blue color and a clear color. I just squirt them into a cup, just a little. Let me take the cap off. You only need a little bit. And I just take it and squirt it. It does smell pretty bad, so be careful. I'm just squirting a little, as you can see. Got to mix it really quick because it does harden really fast. Let me see. There we go. You can see it that way. So I'm just mixing a little. It turns clear like all other epoxy. Make sure you get it mixed in really, really good. Okay. So then I'm just going to take a little on my stick. And I'm going to put it in the middle of her bow. I'm going to grab a little more out of my cup. And put it there. Right in the middle of her bow. If you can see on the D-ring, there is one side that's opened. That's the side that I always put down. And I always hold it or apply it at a slant. That way the bow sits better. And I just sit it here and wait for it to harden, which doesn't take long at all if I could hold it still today. That is the first step in applying the ring. Once this part is dry, I usually let it sit for about an hour or two just to make sure that it's fully cured. It's drying already. To make sure that it's fully cured before I move on to the next step. So like before, I will be pausing the video for a minute and once it's fully dried, then I'll come back on and um, finish out the cup for you guys. But I will hang on for a second just to show you once it is dry. And there, it just sits there. I do, like I said, I do position it at an angle. Um, that way when you stick the actual bow through it, because the bows are removable, when you put the bow through it like straight, it'll still kind of set like a little girl's hair bow does. 
So it's almost dry. So I'm just gonna keep pushing it back into the correct position until it is fully dry. Let me see if I can grab some more of this really quick and add to the top if it's not too dry in my cup. This is not the last step yet. It's too dry in my cup. This is not the last step, guys. So if you're watching for this step mainly, this is not it. So you'll need to either fast forward if you don't wanna watch the rest of the video or just watch the rest of the video to figure out what else I do because if you leave it just with the uh, one minute or five minute epoxy, the ring will come off, okay? So, like I said, it is, let me put the cap back on. I'll show you guys this really fast again. And make sure and I push it down into the actual epoxy also. But like I said, this is the one minute epoxy. Can be found at um, car shops like AutoZone, O'Reilly's, um, whatever you guys have. Uh, oh, Walmart also has it. But I'm just gonna make sure that that is stuck and done moving. And like I said, if you do try to stop at this step, the ring will come off. One minute epoxy is more like a fast drying glue than the epoxy that we actually add onto our cups. So it will not stay. But this, I've tried it a different bunch of different ways like I did with the water slide. Um, this is the best way. Other glues will um, turn cloudy, make it like really white and yuck wherever you put the glue but the one minute epoxy does dry clear so it is the best that i found as of yet if you happen to find something else that you think works better um please let us know in the comments but like i said other glues super glues turn cloudy um if you use e6000 it doesn't hold up well when you add epoxy that well and it also turns like a cloudy color under the epoxy. Um, I've also tried a clear crafting glue. It does not hold very well. Um, what else have I tried? I can't remember. I've tried a little bit of everything. Super glue turns cloudy. The crafting glue turns cloudy. The crafting jewel glue turns cloudy. E6000 doesn't hold well once you add the epoxy and it also does turn cloudy and like i said i do try to make it a little angled so that way when you put the bow clip straight through it'll still kind of set like at an angle so i'm going to pause you guys for now we'll come back later and i'll show you how to finish it off okay guys see you in a few